everyone as you can see behind me it is a beautiful day so I'm going to take you along with me today on a nice little walk it's not far from where I live um, we are going to Forge Mill and um, Bordersley Abbey today um, it's uh, like a needle museum and it's got like a little gift shop and cafe on the side of it we're going to take our dog Louie for a nice walk today. It is absolutely roasting in the UK today. It's about 28 degrees at the moment and it's just gone 12 o'clock. So it's going to be a hot one. I hope the sun isn't too bright so you can see the pictures. Um, I hope it's going to come out okay. So we're going to take a, lot, a, a little walk um, along there. It's a nice little footpath. Um, and it's got. We're going to the ruins of Bordersley Abbey, where it's just ruins now. But it's um, where there was a massive monastery once, um, and it's still a lot of the excavations um, under the ground. Um, there's some marshes around there where the ponds and fisheries were um, for the monastery. Um, so yeah, come along with us and enjoy the walk. Uh, bye.
So you might be able to see at the back of me, there's the marshes and a lot of bulrushes behind me. So I've got a spooky story to tell. Um, me and my husband were walking kind of over in that direction. And you see the marshes and bulrushes. So we were walking, just minding our own business. And all of a sudden, we didn't hear it, but we saw it. There was this like brown and white spaniel, cocker spaniel, just kind of appeared from nowhere. And it was just so silent. There was no noise, no bark, and nothing. He was just lying down in the bulrushes there. And when I took a look back, he had totally disappeared. And it was just really, really weird. No noise of the bulrushes, no noise of the dog moving, nothing. He just vanished as if into thin air. So it was really, really weird experience. No people around, no owners, nothing. So it was like really, really strange. So I don't know what happened to the dog. It was just a weird experience, whether it was a apparition of a dog or I don't know, but it was really weird. So that is one spooky story I have to tell about this area. It is supposed to be haunted around here. So we're going to Forge Mill now and there's Bordersley Abbey. So we're just going to head up there now.